I'm Chevy, and today let's discuss Instagram stories. Hello friends, welcome to the shed on Wednesday, game night for me. Gonna go play some games, um, do some work. I have quite a bit of work to do actually. And tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment, so I gotta get quite a bit done before that happens. But I really wanted to talk, so while I was at Gen Con, I put up a couple videos saying, hey, did you know that Instagram stole Snapchat? I'm gonna start using it. And I have. I've been using it. If you've been following along, that's awesome. If you haven't, please do. Uh, I'll put the, I'll put it up here somewhere. Uh, my Instagram name is the same as all my other names, but um, on social media that is. But to say that Instagram stole Snapchat stories is actually like really, really true. Uh, Casey Neistat did a video on this, which I will link in the comments that shows swipe for swipe how identical Instagram stories is. And so I've been using it now for a couple weeks and I wanted to kind of talk to you about it. I had Snapchat installed for about six months, maybe a year, and really never used it. It, it just, I don't know, it wasn't for me. It was a, yet another social platform that I had to adjust to. So here I go, I have to open this and this and this and check this and that. And none of my friends uh, use it as like a, we just text each other. I don't, I've never seen the point of sending somebody a random picture with a caption. Um, so it, Snapchat really didn't have a purpose for me. But I've been using Instagram f since the start of this year for Instagram for me was more focused on my woodworking stuff where I use Twitter more for board gaming, but they've kind of bonded. They're, they're really the same thing. They're just more extensions of me. And my Twitter has become less about board gaming and more about just life in general and the things that we talk about here, but it still has a board game focus. And Instagram, I really haven't taken a whole lot of Instagram photos but the Instagram stories I've been using on a near daily basis. I've missed a few days. And I will tell you that I find it interesting. It is a way for me to catalog small events or to make small pieces of content. One day I did a video that um, at Gen Con that was just, I told the story, because that's kind of what I, when I see the word stories, I told the story of a cup of coffee that I made in the morning and the cup of coffee's journey to our booth. Um, I made a story about how my morning at work, going in, opening the door, going to my thing, op to my desk, going upstairs, getting my coffee, that sort of stuff. So it's a fun way for me to piece together little tidbits of my life in a tight little package that you can watch for 24 hours. But when Snapchat um, Snapchat became really popular in the woodworking community only within the last maybe four or five months. All of the major woodworking YouTubers were heralding it as the next great thing, which everybody who uses Snapchat has known for years that Snapchat's the next great thing. Kinda. The whole point of this topic is, is it? Because Instagram just stole it. Like, literally stole it. And that's concerning because it's not like Instagram said, hey, here's this great idea of taking videos, piecing them together, and letting people uh, absorb that. They said, let's take this product and clone it swipe for swipe, button for button in our product. And that's the part that really I don't like. That's kind of scary, right? That... Facebook went to Instagram and tried to buy them. They tried to buy Instagram for like a couple billion dollars. Not Instagram, I'm sorry. Facebook went to Snapchat and tried to buy them for like billions of dollars. And Snapchat was like, nah, we're good. We don't want your money. So Facebook turned around and just stole half their product. The most popular part of their product for social sharing. And that's the world that we live in right now. You know, 
we have always been a global economy of reverse engineering. We would get a piece of technology from somewhere else and attempt to re-engineer it using our tooling and our standards. And But this, this is more than that. This is like just blatant, like screw you, thumbs down, middle finger up to Snapchat. And I'm using it. <laughs> so what does that say to, about the product? It just, it's tied into something that I already use on a semi-regular basis. I will admit that I have been opening Instagram a hell of a lot more now that stories are there. Before that, I would open it every couple of days and swipe through. You know, I don't follow a whole lot of people, so, and most of the people I do follow aren't photographers. They just take random pictures, so it's quick to just swipe through. But it's working for me. You should follow me. You can see what I'm up to on a semi-regular basis, besides this, obviously. But have you tried it? Have you watched it? Have you watched any of my stuff? Is there anything I'm doing right or wrong there? Is there anything other people you're seeing is doing right or wrong that I should be watching? Let me know if there are particular Instagram users that I need to add so that I can watch their stories because I'm interested in better content. I'm interested in creating better content. That's why I'm doing this show. Um, so I could use your help trying to figure out this Instagram stories platform and whether it's something I want to continue to use. So the comment section down below is the place that we can talk about all that stuff. I have uh, some work to do before I go gaming, so I'm going to sign off for now and I will see you tomorrow. Hey Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from rmg.co.uk, another UK website. When was the first leap year? The first leap year in the modern sense was in 1752 when 11 days were lost from September with the adoption of the Gregorian calendar by Britain and her colonies. What did we use before 1752? I thought we'd been using the Gregorian calendar for a very long time. Julian calendar? What, what was the normal calendar back then? Somebody tell me.